So, I actually did forget to mention it, and I thought I wrote it in the notes, but obviously I fucking didn't, because I didn't actually mention it in the What's Up. Um, this is not so much for the advanced vapor, because I popped a question out on Patreon subscribe star, and I think on the YouTube members as well, at the end of last year sometime, asking what they would like to see as a subject to cover in a future eSig 101. And what I've done is I've basically, out of the lists that people wrote, and some of them don't actually write lists, I picked the most commonly mentioned ones, which essentially covers the part of advanced vaping. And when I say advanced vaping, I mean dual battery bo mo bo box mods, spit the words out, Vic, dual battery box mods, um, stock coil sub ohm tank kits, then moving into rebuildables. I've kind of covered the coil types already. I've still to cover looking after your rebuildable coils. That's the next ESIG 101. So the, um, the whole part to do with advanced vaping has already kind of been covered. I've got enough of a list there for a good number of episodes of ESIG 101. But what I'm going to do is leave this one out there more especially for the relatively newer vapors, there's been a, the, the, there's there's a constant influx of relatively new vapors subscribing to the channel or watching. And when I see when I see relatively new, I mean people that have only started vaping within the first three months, or the, or they're within the first three to five months of vaping. They may still be on a starter kit, Aspire Zelos. They might be using the uh, Aspire Nautilus tank or one of those tanks of that type. They may still be on a pod kit and they're looking for basic information. And this is what this question and what this little short video is all about. As a relatively new vapor, if you're watching this right now and you're part of the subscriber base or you, 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 you semi-regularly watch the channel now and again but you haven't subscribed, what subjects would you like to see covered in the eSig 101 that would that would be specifically for information that you're after as a newer vapor? Remember, not advanced, because I've got that all covered already. There's a pretty big list that I've typed out up at the studio a couple of weeks ago of future episodes for advanced stuff. And what the plan's going to be for the eSig 101 series, it's going to be one week will be advanced, skip a week, that's the week off on Monday, the week after that, which is the, th the second week after the advanced eSig 101 goes up, we do one on start, well not so much starter kits, but an eSig 101 for beginners, for new vapors, right? So it's beginner eSig 101, advanced, beginner, advanced, beginner, and that's the pattern I want to start to, uh, that's the pattern that I want to get going. Uh, for the eSig 101 and to do that I, I am opening this up to comments down below because I've been vaping for so fucking long now I really don't know what questions people would want answered because if I cast my mind back to seven years ago there was no such thing as podcasts the Nautilus had just come out the original one the big one there was no such thing as pod kits. There was no such thing as AIOs. The starter kits in the market back then were completely different to the starter kits you're getting these days. So I don't know what a new vapor might want to know about. And that's why I'm leaving it up to the comments. The most commonly mentioned ones down below will get their own eSig 101, which will appear in the running order for the eSig 101 for 2021 and possibly, if there's enough of them, into 2022. Anyway... That is it from me, folks. Back to answering emails for me for this evening. Have a good one.